What is going on everybody? Welcome to lesson six. Maybe I lost I lost track. I don't know what lesson we're in. But what I do know is that today in this lesson we're gonna go over Creative Hub. Super ninja strategy that will make not my but your life a lot easier. It's a strategy that will simply make Facebook ads so much easier for you. So basically, let me go over what Creative Hub is. You can basically create templates, add templates uh, with Creative Hub. So let's say you have a marketing agency and you work directly with gyms. So you have three or four or five gyms, uh, five local gyms that you're running ads to. And let's say you also found uh, an ad that converts really well for gyms. Instead of having to create the same ad for those five or six gyms, what you can do is create one ad template with the picture, with the call to action button, with the funnel, with the images or the videos, and use that same ad for all those uh, gyms. And not only gyms, let's say you work with digital marketing and you have found a way to create ads for um, affiliate products and it works really well. Instead of having to recreate that ad for every time you wanna run a new ad, you can get the template from Creative Hub and uh, use it for other ads as well. Um, that's pretty much it, so let's get started. Okay, so first of all, what you wanna do is go to your business setting and look for Creative Hub. Inside Creative Hub, you're going to search for your ads account. Like I said, you always, whenever you're doing that, you always have to select your ad account first. So in that case, I selected the Beauty Saloon account and I created a template. You can either edit the template. Let me go to play real quick. Now, you can either click over here, edit the template, or create a new mock-up. So you have those two options. You can either edit the one that you created, or you can create a new mock-up. A mock-up is simply a template. It's the same thing. So if you do create a new mock-up, this is what you're going to see. It's a screen exactly like what you see when you're creating an actual ad. Now what you wanna do here in Creative Hub is simply worry about the looks. Simply worry about the text, what the people will see, the thumbnail, the call to action button. This is your ad, okay? This is what your user will see. So here what you wanna do is try to get as creative as possible, have a really good text, have a really good image, video, uh, do your call to actions. So here is where you actually worry about the ad, the ad itself, what the user, what your potential leads will see. If I were you, before I started making anything here, I would one, get the videos, get the thumbnails, and think about the text. When you have that, it'll be way easier to do this process. Once you save, this is what you're gonna see, your mock-up and project were successfully saved, and you can get a preview of your ad. Here's a, a little tip for you. Ads will work better if they don't have big text. One, people will most likely click on your ad, and two, Facebook will increase the people seeing your ad. I don't don't ask me why, I don't know, but it does work. So try to not to have that much text in your thumbnails. So this is how Creative Hub works. You finish this whole thing, and what you wanna do is save. Once you save your ad, your template, you wanna export it, you wanna transport that ad into your ads account. So then you can get the template and start editing the back end of your template. So the targeting of the campaign objectives. So then you're gonna start choosing the target audience that you want to show this ad to. Now, how do you import your ad? Well, once you click on save, you're gonna see an option to import right here. Click, click right here, okay? So you save, click import. Once you click import, you're gonna either open in a new tab or copy this URL and paste it on a new tab. Once you do that, this is what you will see. Now, you have to select an ads account, once you select the ads account, this button will, I think, will change the color. It'll be like a, a brighter uh, brighter green. So once you select, you click import, and you can open that in the ads manager. Now once you open that in the ads manager, you will see this. This is your campaign that you're creating. Now we're gonna go over the whole campaign, the whole targeting in the next lesson. What I wanna do now is go to my computer and show you the step-by-step -step on how to go to Creative Hub, how to import the images, and how to do everything that I just showed in the previous slides. Like I said in the last video, the slides will be available for you to download in case you forget. Now let's get started. So as always, go to facebook.com or go to business.facebook.com. Click on the drop down menu and you have to access your business manager. So click on see more, select your business manager, go to the business tools 
in menu and you're gonna see right here the icon creative hub once you click on creative hub like i said you have to select your ads account click on the drop down right next to ad account and select any of the ad accounts that you have i'll select one social tasking for example and i already have two templates what i want to do is create a new one so i'm going to click over here create new and you're going to choose the type of template that you're going to have a carousel a slideshow a 360 video single image single video whatever in our case we're going to choose single video why i would say 95% of the time will convert better. Don't ask me why, like I said, we tested, we know that videos work better. And also there's a little strategy when you're promoting a video, Facebook can actually tell you how much somebody watched your video. So when you're doing your retargeting, you can target people who watched, I would say 50, 25% of your videos. So that's something that will also work really well for retargeting when you choose videos. Anyway, so this is your blank template. What you want to do, first of all, choose the page name. It doesn't matter. When you import your template, it won't come with a page name. So you can choose whatever you want. In that case, we we'll just choose alpha. You're going to choose a page profile picture. We we'll use this one. If you don't have a picture, click on upload. Choose one from your desktop and that's it. Now, here is your primary text. This is what's going to be, oh, I don't know if you can see, but this is what's going to be right above your ad. It's, it's that long, longer text. So we'll here put primary text. There we go. So we're going to select the video. If you have used the video previously, it's gonna be saved here. If you don't have a video, click on upload and you can upload it from your computer, from your desktop, from your files, whatever. Once you upload your video, let's say this one, we'll click on this video and we'll upload it. As you can see, the, the there's a loading bar. You just gotta wait. So when you're uploading videos, you just gotta wait. Facebook will upload and later on I recommend you do choose a thumbnail. Thumbnails are very important. When somebody's scrolling through their Facebook, the thumbnail is the first thing that's gonna grab their attention. So make sure you do work on really nice thumbnails. Okay, so we're done now uploading the video. As you can see, this is the thumbnail. It's a very bad thumbnail. Look at the video. I don't, I don't, I don't know if you can watch it. Okay, so you, you get it, right? It's a very cool video, but look at the thumbnail. Th this is the thumbnail, seriously. Who's gonna click on this, right? So what we wanna do is edit video, go to thumbnail, and choose a nice thumbnail. You can either choose this one, we can choose, let's see if we have any more interesting thumbnails, we don't. If you don't have interesting thumbnails, you can upload one. You can get a designer to do a thumbnail for you. In, in, in my case, I have this one. I can just choose this thumbnail and click apply changes. There we go, it changed. So as you can see, this is a this is a little preview of your ad. You have your primary text, you have your video with your thumbnail. What you wanna do now is scroll down and put the website URL. It can be any website, most likely it'll be your phone if you are an affiliate, I recommend you build a bridge page and put the, the bridge page link over here because sometimes Facebook will block your affiliate links. I don't know why. Anyway, so we're gonna put alvarosalgado.com, the URL, let's wait a little bit, just a second. Okay, now as you can see, we now have the URL. The URL is now over here. Now what we can do is go to the headline, click here and as you can see it'll change very soon there we go you have your link and you have your call to action you don't need a description i wouldn't put a description i would choose a call to action different maybe if you have an ebook put download or if you are doing a webinar sign up for example choose your call to action and when you're done same process you save click ok go to import copy open in a new tab now we're going to select the ads account well what happened Oh, okay, sorry. You gotta click on, I understand, blah, 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 blah. So let's do it again. Open in a new tab. That was my mistake. I forgot to uh, do the check mark. Select an ad account where we wanna run the ads, search tasking, click import. Uh, Mockup is already available. There we go. Open ads manager. And here is where you will see your campaign. Okay, now here's where you see your campaign. As you see behind me, the campaign is where you first start choosing your targeting in how and where and to whom you're gonna be running your ads. This will be in the next lesson. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to give it a like, make sure to follow me on Instagram, make sure to watch my other videos on YouTube and make sure to also apply what you learn. It's very important you apply what you learn. All right, so thank you so much. We're gonna do now the whole uh, campaign building, choosing your target audience in the next lesson and I'll see you there.
बाय बाय